Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today we'll be playing with the most expensive curling iron on the market that comes at you 250 US dollars. This is the Lunata Beauty Cordless Curler. Let's begin. So some of the main features, what makes this curling iron so expensive is first, you can create a wand or you can have this attachable clip to create a curling iron which is my favorite. You guys know I love a good curling iron. And then another thing, obviously, it's a cordless curling iron. And what they added, they added a battery that you can replace. And you can, if you travel a lot and you don't wanna always have it on a charge, you can just carry extra batteries with you. And this says rechargeable, obviously. It has a USB, I think USB-C. What is the port here? something like that. But it does come with a charger, so you don't have to worry about that. It comes with its own charger, and of course, it is titanium plated. Let's begin. All right, I'm gonna turn this on. And you do have the temperature setting from 250 all the way up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And it is a little bit tricky. You first have to click it three times, and then you have to hold the power button, and then you, you select low, you select medium, high, or max. I'm gonna go on medium, and medium is roughly 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's begin, let's see the before, and let's start curling our hair. I have been playing around with this curling iron for a while now. They did send me this product, but I am not obligated to do this video. I just wanted to show you guys what a $250 curling iron does, what it looks like, the pros and the cons from what I have experienced so far. You know what, let's go on, let's go on high. And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create those, basically those very effortless, very nice loosely bended waves. And I'll show you guys, let me see. I'm pretty sure when it turns green, it's, yep, there it is, it's heated up. All right, so I am using the clip, like I mentioned, and the clip is very easy to maneuver, which I really like. And I just like to give it a little curl at the very top, twist, hold for maybe five to seven seconds, do another twist, hold for less than three seconds, and let go. One more twist. And twist, twist and very gently slide your hair out. One thing about this curling iron when I first tried it, the barrel itself is so smooth on the hair and the clip, because it is detachable and you can either use it as a wand or a curling iron, it's not super tight to the barrel, which makes it really easy to create these types of waves for the hair and it's it doesn't pull on the hair, it doesn't, really clamp the hair really hard. That's a positive and a negative in my book and I'll share with you why. So now I'm gonna alternate the curls. Just going this way. And the one thing, be careful, the tip is also hot. It's not a tip where you hold. Do a little twist, twist it again. Twist, twist, and very gently slide out. The one thing that bugs me about this thing <laughs> that rattling on the inside. And we thought that maybe it was something to do with charging the curling iron, but Andre literally took this apart with tiny little screwdrivers. And we found that on the inside, it was some kind of little circuit, right? It was a little switch. And we contacted Lunata and we asked them what that was. And they basically said it was the auto shut off. That's what's making that noise. And which, it's every which, single time. Which other irons don't do that. Yeah, other irons, other flat irons, they don't do that, which I don't understand why that happens. But to me, I think that's an oversight. And I think that kind of brings the value down. It doesn't feel as luxury as it should because of that rattling. All right, so let me, let me explain to you why I think it's a good and a bad thing to have a clip that's not as tight is because if you're doing smaller sections 
I'm barely, I'm barely pulling the curling iron and the hair already wants to kind of slip out because it doesn't have a really good grip on the hair. So if you're doing smaller, thinner sections, it's very easy for the hair to fall out. But it's a positive because it doesn't really it's good for, clamp your hair. It sounds like it's good for people who have thick hair, but not good for people who have thin hair. Yes, if you have very, very thin hair and you're using smaller sections, you might have a really hard time with this, holding the hair inside the clip, so you might enjoy this more. See, the, the hair literally just fell out, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna try to put it back in and keep it in the clip, not go towards the bottom, because that's where it doesn't really have control. There we go. So that's why I say it's a pro and a negative. It doesn't damage your hair, <laughs> it doesn't rip it out, but it doesn't really hold it as well as it should. Even that section didn't, didn't even hold that well. You can definitely still do very thin sections like I am, but you see I'm mostly focusing the hair towards the middle and towards the top of the barrel. Because that's where it's holding the best. Just be careful when you're, you're working around your ears because of this right here. Like I said, it is hot. I want you to burn yourself. You see how the hair fell in there? I gotta make sure. <laughs> then I kind of bring it back up into the clip. So how's the battery life so far? The battery life so far we're already down to three bars out of five. And I'm only on the second section that I have done with my entire head. I honestly think the battery life could be a little bit longer just because there's nothing automated here. You have to physically do everything yourself. So I feel like when you're on high, if you have very long hair, you might use up most of the battery. Like I said, I have, when I usually use it on high, the battery usually lasts down to two bars and sometimes one bar, depending how many sections I do, how big sections, how thin sections, how long I hold the hair in there. So that's just, there's a lot of variables. But obviously, when I use it on a lower heat setting, it lasts a lot longer. I think this battery life is very similar to the other wireless tools that I've tried. In my opinion, I think there's definitely a learning curve with this tool just because of the attachable clip. Just because even when I was using it, a lot of the hair kept falling out and it was frustrating to me that I couldn't do those really nice controlled waves or curls that I was trying to go for. So. Yes, because the hair was falling out. So I'm even showing you guys basically what I'm consciously doing. I'm physically moving the hair up into the curling iron, into the clip, instead of making, because the hair just wants to fall down because it's gravity, right? Unless you're holding it like horizontally like this, which is a little bit, you know, inconvenient. So I'm making sure I kind of bring the hair up back into the clip instead of having most of the hair towards the bottom of the clip. And that's what I mean by kind of has a little bit of a learning curve. See this hair is nice and thin right here, this section especially, but because it's not towards the bottom, it's like still towards the middle. It's still holding on pretty well. And I can still control the curl. One side down. We're now down to two bars out of five. Okay, you know, like every tool has its pluses and minuses. But the cordless, yeah, they're definitely a huge convenience factor. And 
not like that with even a 1.25 inch barrel. It's a much bigger barrel than a one inch or even 0.75 and I can still create those really long, those tighter curls or waves if I want, just because of this little twisting method. Instead of just doing the conventional, you twist and then you curl and then you just let go. I feel like this just gives me a lot more control to what the curls can look like. I'm just gonna let this cool off. This side is cooled off. I'm just gonna let this side cool off before I go in and really tussle the curls. I'm just gonna turn this off. I'm actually just gonna put it back on charge because that's what I've been doing in my filming room and this is where I get ready every single morning. So if even if I'm not curling my hair, I still have the option to charge my curling iron and then when I'm ready to use it again, it's already charged, fully charged for me. And another thing that I really like is their, their plugs. They have already, I can't just, I can't take it out though. <laughs> it's how do I unlock it there we go I got it. I just don't want to break my fingernails it comes with different I think they even sent different three different converters if you're in the US Canada and I believe somewhere in the Europe somewhere so I, I like that it already comes with that you just put it back in you lock it and you're good to go to charge and this right here is the charger that goes into the curling iron just like that and of course, because it is a barrel and everything is exposed, when you do travel, it does come with a little case. The one, <laughs> to me personally, this just looks so wrong just because of this little tip that they have right here. But I do appreciate that you can also lay it out and you can basically keep your curling iron safe from everything else around. So I do really like that. I don't know if I should put it on. <laughs> this video might get flagged. And this is basically what I would do, let's say for traveling, and we have to get out the door and catch our train, catch our flights. This is what I would do to hide my tool and make sure it's nice and safe. But even though you hide it, it looks wrong. Yes. If somebody does check your luggage, they might think this is something other than what it should be. All right, let's run my fingers through this. I'm actually going to add a little bit of the wave spray by way. <laughs> wave spray by way, get it? This is just a little, it's a very lightweight texturizing spray before I go in. These spritz are somewhat intense. I'm just gonna take my hands, comb it out. So I think overall, I think this is a very innovative tool. I think this is a very great tool for people on the go that need a huge convenience factor. For example, if you're always on the run, I think this will be even great for mommies because I'm even thinking ahead now since the baby is coming very soon. I'm thinking I'm gonna really enjoy this when I wanna feel like dolled up, I wanna feel good, I wanna feel good about my hair, and I don't have to worry about cords. I'll just be like, hey babe, can you please bring me the curling iron? Or I can even take it with me on the go and do my hair in the car if we're very in a hurry. So I feel like for a lot of things and for a lot of people, the convenience factor is huge here just because they are coming out with extra batteries that you can have with you and you can just put the batteries in and you're fully charged to go. The one other thing I do want to say is I do appreciate that this is a two-in-one tool. So if you kind of want to break up, break down the price, uh, there's a lot of two-in-one tools that are marked higher just because they are doing two different things in one you know, does that make sense? I kind of want to compare it to like the Dyson Airwrap. There are essentially eight attachments for $550 or $49. So that to me is kind of like, I have to break it down because there's 
a lot of tools and attachments. And here you have two tools for one, but it is a high price tag for $250. Please keep that in mind. Be the judge of that. If you'll enjoy that, if you like a wand or if you want something with a clip, for example, like me, I love a clip and I love a wand. So I'm like, hey, today I want to use a wand. I just want to be quick. I want to be fast. Or today I want to use a curling iron and really get those beautiful, precise curls. So that to me, I think is a huge selling factor and we can't forget that it's cordless, right? So I think for a lot of people, they'll really enjoy that. And I think we sometimes forget, especially when doing hair, how much the cord can get in the way. And we're sometimes very limited, especially for traveling or what, whatever else we're doing. We need to find a really convenient outlet. When actually we travel, that's the first thing I check. I check where the outlets are and I'm like, okay, can I do my hair there? Can I do my hair there? And I, I'm looking where the window is. I'm looking where the mirror, mirror is because I'm trying to be conscious about where the outlet is. So I think with this, I don't have to be unless I'm charging and I can just charge this anywhere. I can charge it on the kitchen counter. I can charge it in the bathroom. I can charge it here in the studio. So I think to me, that's a huge positive thing. So the negatives, like I mentioned, I don't like the rattling. I think that was a huge oversight. Another negative thing I don't like about this is the LCD temperature setting. It only gives you low, medium, high, and max. It doesn't tell you how hot the curling iron is, but that's just my personal preference. Reference, right? A lot of these things are a personal preference, but I just want to make sure I tell you guys because I know a lot of you have the same annoyances and you look out for the same exact things. You look for those same positives and for those same negatives. So that's kind of what I'm trying to tell you guys. Another thing, if you're wondering if it's heavy or if it's lightweight, yes, it has a little bit of weight to it, but most of the weight is because of the battery. When you take it out, you can feel a difference, but this does feel like a very solid tool. One thing I do want to mention about the battery life, if you have it charged fully and it will say full charge, it, just, it will just say full once your battery is charged to the fullest capacity, it will last at least 45 minutes on the highest heat setting, which is max. And I did test it out. I tested it only once because I've only been using it on the high or medium or low heat setting. I never actually go on max. So for me, it does last a good 45 minutes at least. It did last. 45 minutes on the max heat setting, but it does last longer. Like I did mention, I was doing my hair. It lasts a little bit longer if you use on the lower heat setting. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts on on this most expensive curling iron, what we think. Is it convenient? Is it convenient enough? But for now, you guys, thank you for watching this video, spending time with me, and getting my hair styled by Malibu. <laughs> and I'll see you the next one very soon. Bye.